Hello, my name is Richard, 2E0 Sierra X-Ray X-Ray, and I work in the sales department at Martin Lynch. Today, we've come out to the park and we're going to try something different. What I've done is I've assembled some radio gear and I've managed to put everything in one of these handbags. That's right, the radio, coax, and even the antennas. So let's see how it all pans out. So we're in our local park and we found ourselves a nice spot here. So let's see what we've got in the bag. Let's have a look. So we've got the, the handbag in black today. In the main compartment here, I've got the ICOM 705, a very popular QRP radio. We also, we've got the microphone for it as well. And this has proved very popular recently. This is the Messi and Poloni Potaflex 7. This is a 10 meter length. We're going to be trying a couple of antennas. The Mydel MA8300 and also the... Now this is something that's intrigued me. I've not tried this before, but we're going to give it a go. This is the Mydel HAHF1000. This is an interesting piece of kit. This is a telescopic whip and a series of coils for different bands. We're going to try these out and see how these work out. The way we're going to use these is we're going to use the Mydel ground spike attachment, which comprises of the ground spike and also the mounting block for the antenna and the coax and the ground spike just screws into the bottom. On the back of this, there are two connections for radials, and the engineers at MLS have very kindly made me up two sets of radials with some eyelets on, and we're going to try these out to see what we can get with these antennas. There we go. So we now have the coax that we're going to connect to the radio. So let's just recap what we've done with the antenna. So we have put the ground spike together. We've attached the four radials, pulled them out and then attached the antenna and adjusted it according to the graph in the description sheet to the correct height for the 20 meter band. Then we've attached our Potaflex coax and now I think we're ready to see if we can make any contacts on 20 meters. Oh it doesn't look too busy on there but we'll have a... Two Echo Zero Sierra X-Ray X-Ray Two Echo Zero Sierra X ray X ray. Sometimes, please repeat, sometimes the last letter. Sierra F I have had clear. I have Sierra F I, but not the last letter. X ray. X ray. X ray QSL. Sorry, no copy. Mike Zero. Uh, right, nothing on 20 meters, unfortunately. Just could not get my whole call sign heard. Which is, uh, which is the way it goes sometimes. So we're gonna try, let's try 17, see if there's anybody on there. Right, so I'm gonna adjust the antenna for the 17 meter band. Let's have a go at that. There we are. Calling 17, Alpha, Oscar, 75, Mike Alpha, you are that? Two, Echo Zero, Sierra, X-Ray, X-Ray. Uh, the number zero is the call again. 
two Echo Zero Sugar X ray X ray. Echo Zero, what is the suffix? Sierra, X ray, X ray, Sierra, X ray, X ray. Uh, stupid, can you, can you stand by, please? Uh, ending in Sierra, what is the, the suffix, Ali? Sierra, X ray, X ray. Yeah, two Echo Zero, Sierra, X ray, X ray, uh, 59, QSL. Thank you very much, you're also 59, thank you for the quick contact. Alpha Oscar 75 Mike Alpha. Right, so there we go. We've got it. We've had a contact on 17 meters, and what I'm going to do now is we're going to take down this antenna, and we're going to try with the other antenna that we've brought. Okay, so we've tried this antenna. We know it works. Let's have a go with the HF HAHF 1000 now. So we'll take this one down first. There we are. So here's the antenna, they've got the instructions, we'll have a look at those in a moment. We're going to have a go on, let's have a go on the 40 meter band. So we use the 40 meter coil, we'll connect the adapter, and we'll pop that onto the, onto the ground spike, and add the telescopic whip. We'll extend it fully. like so and then we'll get the instruction leaflet out because it tells us what length to set the telescopic whip to for any given band on seven megahertz it says element length 1155 millimeters so i've got my tape measure let me just set this thing up let's see what we've got and there we go that's just about 11.55 so let's go over to the radio Right, so that's the antenna set up for the 40 meter band. So let's give that a go. Let's see if we can make a QSO. Is this frequency in use? Two Echo Zero, Sierra, X-Ray, X-Ray. Nothing heard. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is 2 Echo Zero Sierra X ray, X ray. 2 Echo Zero Sierra X ray, X ray. Calling CQ and standing by. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is 2 Echo Zero Sierra X ray, X ray. 2 Echo Zero Sierra X ray, X ray. Calling CQ and standing by. Right, so we're not doing very well on 40. So we've moved, we've changed over coils from 40 meters to the 20 meter band, and we'll see how we get on with that. And Kiorset, Alpha, Oscar, 75, Mac Uniform, Kiorset. Two, Echo, Zero, Sierra, X-Ray, X-Ray. Two Echo Zero Sierra X ray X ray. Two Echo Zero Sierra X ray X ray 59. Thank you very much. Also 59. Very fine signal. Thank you. This is my colleague Alpha Oscar 75 Mike Uniform. Roger, Roger. Alpha Oscar 75 Mike Uniform from 2E0 Sierra X ray X ray 73. That was a little bit more um, successful than on 40. Well, there we go. We've had a contact on 17 and on 20 meters on, on the antennas. And we'd better head back to the shop because uh, I think Tony said he's going to be quite busy this afternoon. But what were the deals we've got going on? So I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.